haven't like read like a lot of books like I used to since last year. Like that is crazy. And I love to read. Reading is one of my favorite hobbies. Like, it is my jam. I have so many good books. Books that I have yet to touch. Series that I have yet to start. And it's just like, no. It's not that like the books are terrible and I don't want to read the books. It's like... This is exactly how things have been going recently. Hi guys, I'm Jerry Lynn and welcome back to my channel. So, let's talk for a second. This is going to be an unorthodox type of TBR, monthly TBR video. Anyway, so I fell into a huge reading slump recently and I have been trying to recover for a very long time. The thing is, it's a busy time of the year for me with my full-time job and it's a busy time of the year in general. Normally around right around now, I don't read that much because I'm so busy with like the day-to-day -day of my job. So that has stopped a lot of this reading stuff. I fell into a reading slump like no matter how many good books I have, I can't read them because I, I like, I, I, mean, I can't even talk. <laughs> it's hard for me to start investing into another book when I know that I can't give it my undivided attention. I know that it's going to be only like five minutes in the morning and like five minutes at night. It's going to take me a long time to finish a book. I guess these are also excuses. I don't know. I just have not been in the mood to read. A lot was happening. I went on a work trip. I talked about this in my last videos you probably have seen. But if you haven't seen those videos, then I'll link them below. Oh my god, another ambulance is coming. I hope everyone's okay, guys. Drive safe out there. Be safe. Anyway, I stopped reading for some time because I got busy with work, but I don't know if you also noticed, but everywhere I went, anything I did, I always had a book with me. No matter what, I always had a book with me, and that's the whole point. Like, the point is to read, but not um, to the point where it's becoming a, a task, like a chore. I want to read and I want to, the reading to be enjoyable and fun. Like I mentioned also, reading is a sort of escapism for me to help me get out of my day-to-day -day life of like work, 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 hustle, bustle. But when the hustle, bustle is the primary thing that I need to focus on or like the thing that I need to do, reading becomes easily left on the back burner. So that's kind of what has been happening. It's not that like the books are terrible and I don't want to read the books. It's like... I'm just busy. <laughs> that's it. And I don't want to feel like forced to read because that's going to completely take the fun out of everything. So yes, I have been in a reading slump. I feel like since this year has started. I've been in a reading slump since January. I haven't like read like a lot of books like I used to since last year. Like that is crazy. And I love to read. Reading is one of my favorite hobbies. Like, it is my jam. I have so many good books. Books that I have yet to touch. Series that I have yet to start. And it's just like, no. I don't want to do this to myself and another thing is like I get caught up feeling trapped like stuck reading certain books because I do like TBR prompts picks my books but sometimes the prompts pick a book that I wanted to read when I picked that prompt but like two weeks later I don't think I want to read that book anymore you know so because of all of that this is gonna be an unusual month where this whole month is gonna be a month of mood reading so every book that i read this book is gonna be the book that i just feel like reading like i just want to read it it's on my physical tbr and i have it and i want to read it if i want to reread a book i'm gonna reread a book if i want to okay because i want to bring back the joy and the fun and the easy and lightness of just reading simply i don't want you to think that youtube changed the reason why i was in a reading slump i don't think because i, I do see a lot of booktubers talk about how YouTube can take the fun out of reading because you feel like you have to read all these books to like keep up. You know, nothing's gonna make me feel that way. I don't feel like I need to read a lot of books to keep up with anybody because I'm not trying to keep up with anybody. I'm just doing what I do and documenting that simply. Like that's it. So I don't feel like I need to read 10 books a month, but I definitely want to
gonna read at least one book a month. I can't even say that. So that's where I'm at. I'm in a situation where I wish I would have finished a book this month. Oh, I wish I would have finished a book last month. So that's where I'm at. You guys are just gonna have to come back at the end of this month and see all the books that I read. I'm gonna talk about them. I'm gonna give them my ratings and everything. I'm going on vacation as well, and so I wanna bring some good books with me. So I know I'm gonna have time to read. Now that things in my job are starting to like calm down, it's becoming less and less, which means I'm gonna have more and more time to dedicate towards other things and i'm so excited for that so march is like the start of that season of like spring spring break summer days are coming and that's why i feel like i mean the days are getting longer the sun is staying out longer that is gonna have a huge effect on like the amount of books i read as well because i think the longer the sun stays out the more productive i'll feel because the sun is still out like let's read you know so the first book that i have been reading so far is black cake by charmaine wilkerson and I talk about this book at least twice, so I'll leave, I'll leave those videos below. But so far, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm currently on page 24, and the chapters are like super, super, super short. I'm talking like some chapters are like a page long, maybe two. And it jumps back and forth between different people's perspectives, which I also love. I am a sucker for like perspective jumping. That is my jam. So I love this book. I really hope, well, I'm only 24 pages in. So far, I really like it. I really hope it stands up to what the hype is about. It's also featured on Hulu, like it's an actual like show. So that is great and that's cool. So in regard to what else I'm going to be reading this month, I also went book shopping recently, which you guys have seen if you are keeping up with that. And I purchased these lovely, lovely books. Well, not this one. <laughs> These books I purchased in San Antonio, and so, man, am I going to be in the mood to read Magnolia Parks? Am I going to be in the mood to read the third book of the Akatar series? Am I going to be in the mood to read Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia, blah, 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 blah? Like, these are some really good books. I also still have Check and Mate that I DNF, like I have not finished it yet, but I, I want to. It's not like it was bad or anything. I just, yeah, I, yeah. So I have a lot of books, and this is only the books that came to mind immediately of like all the books that I would want to read, especially because I literally just got this book like t last week. So yeah, like why not get into it, you know? So this video is obviously like a really, really short video because all I'm talking about is the fact that I stopped reading for like two months. I was reading off and on. I have not finished a book in a long time, in like two months, and that is so unusual for me. Like I have, I don't even know what to say about that. It's just is what it is you know and so now i'm trying to get back into it this youtube's channel situation is helping me stay accountable with my reading and it's also helped me keep track of what i have been reading youtube is the only reason why i'm aware that i have not read a full book since like december because normally i talk about the books that i read and i have not been talking about books that i have been reading because you can fill in the blank okay if you have read any of these books leave a comment below which one would you read if you were me which one would you read first let me know down below if you have read black cake if you have watched the hulu series and what are your thoughts on this novel as well anyway guys this completely wraps up today's video thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you in the next video sometime this week <laughs> bye bye